I see other indie authors running a pre-order for their books on Amazon.com, but when I go to upload my paperback or hardcover on Amazon KDP, I don't see that option. What gives? Today, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can schedule a pre-order for your paperback or hardcover for Amazon.com. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm MK Williams. I'm an author and I love sharing my insights about all things books and publishing with you. Before I get into the details about today's topic, don't forget to subscribe. You'll be notified every week as I release new videos about publishing, making a career to being an author, and now being a mompreneur. So today we're going to talk about the murky, muddy world of setting up a pre-order for your book when you are self-publishing. Okay, now number one, what is a pre-order? So a pre-order is when a book is set to be published... September 1st, but readers can buy it ahead of time. So they order the book in June when they hear about it or in July when the cover is revealed or in August when reviews are rolling in. They buy it now and the book is sent to them on September 1st. This can be for the digital version, print version, audio, etc. The idea is that the publisher is capturing reader interest now when there's a lot of hype around the book instead of hoping they'll remember to buy it later, okay? Now, some terminology here is pretty important. So a pre-order is a specific functionality of purchasing a book now ahead of its official release. Some authors call it a pre-sale as well. Those terms can be used interchangeably. So here's what you can do on Amazon KDP or Kindle Direct Publishing, which is Amazon.com's book self-publishing platform, right? If you want to self-publish your book on Amazon, Amazon KDP, boom, one for one gets you right there. Now on Amazon KDP, you can set up a pre-order for your ebook. Release date is September 1, pre-order can start tomorrow, any day. For the paperback and hardcover, you can pre-schedule your book. That's a new term. That's one that you cannot use interchangeably with pre-order. What this pre-schedule functionality is, is it allows you to set the release date ahead of time, but not the purchase functionality. It makes no sense. So previously, you would upload your print book to Amazon KDP, and sometime in the next 72 hours, it would go live, which is annoying if you're trying to coordinate a launch around one specific day to announce that it's live. So effectively, authors were having to upload it three days early, and then it's live for two days, but they're just not telling anybody, or they would upload it on launch day, but it wouldn't be ready for the full 72 hours. It was a mess, so now they have the pre-scheduler, which is also a mess. So here's what you can do with Ingram Spark. So Ingram Spark comes in in this regard. So you can set a print pre-order and an ebook pre-order in their system. You set both the street date and publication date in this continued example for September 1st. Why can't I just say pre-order? I don't know. Check yes, publication date, September 1, I don't know. There, why? but you can set your print pre-order in Ingram Spark. Um, so this is a two platform pre-order system. Ingram Spark distributes to Amazon. So the paperback and hardcover are in pre-order and are pushed to Ingram Spark's retail network, which includes Amazon. Then on launch day, you upload your book to KDP and that listing will supersede the Ingram Spark one. To do this, you have to own your ISBN. This is complex. This is masterclass. This is added levels of detail. This is added weeks of planning before you announce your pre-order because it takes time to approve your digital proof copy on Ingram Spark and then for them to push it out to their network, okay? Added levels of complexity here, added time, added attention to detail, okay? Masterclass, right? So is it worth doing a pre-order? After hearing all this madness, you might decide that a pre-order isn't for you and your book. Or maybe you only do an ebook pre-order, but the print is out so you can get reviews. It's murky. There really isn't one great single answer. I do pre-orders for my books, but you may not want to fiddle with them at all. It's totally up to you. And I think you're going to see a lot of authors doing this and you're going to feel like you need to jump on that boat. Understand what's going on behind the scenes so you can make the right decision for you. Okay. You have a life out of being an author. You have other things going on. There's other things to manage. How much stress of all these different systems working correctly, do you want to take on? If the answer is no, that's fine. If the answer is yes, that's fine too, okay? Um, let me know what other questions you have about Amazon KDP, about Ingram Spark, about pre-orders, about how to set up all these things in the systems. That's how I make more videos for you all, okay? If you found this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, or hit the shiny new thanks button. That tells YouTube that you got value from this information, and then they can get this in front of other authors like us. 
Now you can get back to writing your book. Hi, thank you so, so much for watching my videos today. I really hope that they were helpful to you. Just as a reminder, um, I do this channel as like a labor of love. I have 16,000 plus subscribers now, but I actually don't even make that much each month to recoup even my time costs for putting this on. Um, I do it because I love to help you guys. So if you can just take a moment to hit the thanks button or go to my buy me a coffee link. I am fueled by coffee and and chocolate and carbs. Um, so that would be so, so helpful. So that way I can actually fund some of these marketing experiments I want to bring to you guys. I have a wish list on buy me a coffee where you can literally see the different high ticket book marketing items I would like to try. And I'd like to try to show you guys so you don't have to spend that full amount to find out if it works for you or not. I'm willing um, to spend the money to do that. But if you want to invest and help me out, that would be great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye.